ton of legs around. <laughs> Bastard boys, come here, Bastard boys. Come here, it's okay. Come here, Bastard boys. You wanna do the interview with me? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Hey everybody, I am Daniel. This is DTV, a local travel video blog. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Grafenbeer, Germany. Congratulations, you made it, you're here. PCS complete, right? So I hope everybody is safe, happy, and healthy. Now that you're done with quarantine, uh, you're probably wondering what is there to do around here? Good question. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some easy day trip recommendations that are less than one hour away from base. Now I know we're in Europe and there's so many different things to do, so many different countries that you can go see, but with all the uncertainty and travel restrictions around COVID, we're gonna take baby steps. So we've been here going on seven years now and most people that we talk to tend to have a better experience while they're stationed here if you actually go outside, get off base, right? Easier said than done. So my first recommendation is to visit nearby cities. I would start with Grafenbeer and Vilsack. Although very small cities, I think it's important to get to know Graf and Vilsack because it's going to be your home base. It's also an opportunity for you to get used to small town Bavaria. It's your first look into local restaurants, local customs and courtesies, cobblestone streets, and the beautiful multicolored buildings throughout downtown. Have fun getting accustomed to the German culture and the local community. This may be the only time you can say, I live in Europe. I remember getting here in 2014 and being excited just to go into all these random grocery stores and things that I just never heard of or never seen before, just to learn and see what they have to offer. So go out into your city and check it out. All right, another city to go check out that's nearby is Parkstein. One of the first things you'll notice about Parkstein is that it sits below an inactive volcano. You'll actually be surprised to see how many inactive volcanoes and castle ruins are around this area. More of that in a little bit. You can actually go to the top of this huge mountain to see the remains of the Parkstein castle. And there's even a simulated eruption demonstration in the nearby Volcano Museum. Definitely a small picturesque city that's worth exploring with family and friends. Okay, next city, Hirschau. Yep, you guessed it, another small city, but Hirschau has the biggest sand mountain I've ever seen in my life. I feel like I'm about to fall backwards right now. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> There's a ton of activities in Hirschau. Hirschau, Germany. This is one of my favorite local summer spots to visit because of all of the activities. So many activities! <laughs> Okay, Flossenburg. Flossenburg has a ton of history. Flossenburg is the closest concentration camp to Grafenbeer. Although this isn't the only attraction the city has to offer, it's worth checking out to get a different perspective on World War II history. 
We even got a chance to hear from a Holocaust survivor who was only a boy when he was rescued from Flossenburg the in 1945. Appel Platz, which is the, uh, where we were counted all the time. You know, it's a big place. When you go to Flossenburg, you'll see an empty between two building, a, uh, an area, parade ground. Pottenstein. If you have kids, I recommend going to Pottenstein first. Pottenstein, especially in the summer, is a great place to go to with kids. So what's there to do? Devil's Cave, public pools and mini rivers for paddle boating. There's an amusement park, alpine coasters, a skywalk bridge, and don't forget about the Pottenstein Castle that looks over this small city of only 5,000 inhabitants. Okay, big cities. I may be a little biased about this because I live in this city, but Viden. Go check out Viden. Here we go. Holy shit. Whoa. Viden has a lot to offer, but if I were you, I would start at a Saturday farmer's market. Yeah, also here unten is the Bauernmarkt. I go schon immer here einkaufen. Here gibt's alles frisch, Wurst, Fleisch, Gemüse, and this is regional. Ah, yeah. This is from here, from our Bauern in the Umgebung. Man kriegt frische Eier. Ich zum Beispiel muss mir die nie kaufen, weil ich die selber habe, meine Hühner zu Hause. Aber die Weidner lieben es, hier einkaufen zu gehen. Man sieht ja auch, was hier los ist. Überall wird, sind die Tüten, überall wird eingekauft, frisches Gemüse, Obst und so weiter. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you. Signori, das ist Weiden. Get up early, come get your fresh eggs, your fresh fruit, your fresh vegetables, cheeses, pastas. There's all types of things here, including horse sausage, which we're getting ready to try because my buddy Andrew, thanks for the recommendation. It's a traditional horse sausage. You, did you say horse? Yes. This is horse? And you like we, it. We want you to feel the, the power and the strength of a horse. Good drink. Biden, horse sausage. Okay, lakes. There are a ton of lakes around here. There's a nice big lake right outside Graf called Freizeit See Diesfurt, but our favorite lake is the Steinberg am See. This lake is beautiful and has a large grass area to picnic and barbecue. You can kayak to different islands on the lake. There's a huge wooden Holzkugel with great views and a slide that takes you all the way down. Even have a water ski track for experienced riders. Whoa, that was awesome. Number three, hiking and bike trails. So there's no way that I can go over every single bike trail and hiking trail in this area. They're everywhere. But what I would recommend is to download the Komoot app to find nearby hiking, mountain biking, walking, and running trails. We also use this interactive Relive app to go over the distance and location of our journey. Be on the lookout for beer garden resting points and know that it's 100% acceptable to sit and enjoy a few beverages along the way. Just a few though. <laughs> and last but not least, castles, churches, and monasteries. If you've been paying attention, you should already know about the Pottenstein Castle, the remains of the Parkstein Castle, but here's a couple others. The Rauherkum, this actually should have been in my hiking section because there's no castle or church. But, like Parkstein, this is an inactive volcano with a tower at the top and spectacular views. You can actually see this tower from the Netzerberg Hill. It's an easy hike and very close to base. We woke up early to climb this and caught the sunrise. Speinshardt Monastery is just off in the distance from the tower, north of Eschenbach. Again, an easy day trip from base and a good opportunity to see ancient European architecture from the 1600s. You'd be surprised at how many castles are actually around you. Just ask Google. Castles. This one is 15 minutes from my house, so I decided to check it out. So I was just told that back in the day they used to hang people yes. on well, these things when they um, clown, uh, take 
take something. Oh, when they steal. Yes. So they put them up here on display. Or kiss another woman or something. Oh, don't kiss another woman. So they put them up there, and then it, they're on display for the whole town to see. Oh, yeah, they're like, this is an example. Don't do this or you get hung, right? <laughs> That's crazy. But this is beautiful over here. This cage right here has got all this stuff that's been written on here. But look at that. 1221. That's crazy. Sometimes people ask me why I live in Germany. Okay, that should give you plenty of stuff to do right outside of your doorstep. Biggest takeaway from this video, go outside and explore. You'd be surprised at how much culture and how much history is all around you in less than one hour away. Have fun, be safe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.